It is Sunday, uh, starting the week a little bit early, um, given the um, what kind of the Australia Day weekend at all out of skew. So, ended up picking orders over the weekend. Uh, obviously, kind of, I recorded the end of the last vlog yesterday, so I'm starting the day early, getting ahead. And there's been eight orders in so far since I recorded yesterday. So, um, I'm guessing this one is some kind of castle kind of um, configuration a bit of green, some reddish brown, some black, and an awful lot of kind of um, castle feeling parts going into that one. Um, a sticker set from a first order TIE fighter and some two by two light blue gray plates there on Brick Owl. A Joker um, body piece and some sand, uh, dark tan and some white clips. Whole bunch of dark red tiles there. A lot of medium azure going on, so I'm thinking this is a lot of pirate stuff, um, given that there's a lot of um, different kind of slopes, um, those ones with the kind of the little wedge in the middle and stuff like that. So I'm thinking that one is pirates. This one I think is Star Wars, but who knows? I mean, this is this is a huge order. It is a thousand and eight parts in a hundred and one lots. A couple of money figures, a couple of Thai pilots. A, an assortment of um, minifigure parts, including, I think that's a hand solo pair of legs. Uh, this one getting one of the tiles because it's over the um, value threshold. A couple of the 32 by 32 base plates, a whole bunch of trans clear, a whole bunch of trans red, a lot of dark blue gray, some um, reddish brown, including a bunch of seats. Some dark brown as well, quite a bunch of that in there. A whole bunch of dark brown and a trans red, um, what do you mean, Bob? Windshield as well. So, yeah, there's a lot of cool parts in there, including some of those um, old school kind of control panel stuff. So, whether someone's doing a mock of maybe a hangar for TIE fighters or something like that. Um, a bit of backwards and forwards with the seller on this as he wants me to delay the posting. So thanks very much, Lloyd. If you watch the channel, I'm not sure if you do or not, um, but great order. It was quite fun picking it as well because it was all kind of, I don't know, it just seemed to flow quite well as sometimes they do. And then the two orders over here, um, similarly um, nice parts, kind of some light blue gray. I think there's a couple of bits of dark blue gray. Oh, no, there they are. In there with some trans bits bit of black there and then another smallish order with some um, tiles in dark blue a bit of white and some black and reddish brown and some dark tan in there as well so yeah eight orders um, already done for the, the start of the week which is pretty good so um, the week ahead kind of not kind of giving too much away I'm, all, I'm almost up to date with this as well which is awesome given that we're not even into the week but um, yeah Going to be a bit of a getting some things on eBay and then um, trying to do some more part outs. Some of those sets that have been kicking around for a while. Get some new parts in the set. Um, try and clear the stuff that I have purchased already rather than purchasing some new parts just yet. Um, and I've also got a little bit more freelance work that I need to get done um, during the start of the week. So priority is getting those things done and in the store. Um, maximizing the investment that we've made um, at least for the first part of the week and then sit down and have a think about the parts that we need to get back in some things have really sold quite strongly um, two by four tiles have been flying out the door um, they are going gangbusters as have um, one by four um, black where are they one by four one by four black tiles were in there, full draw not too long ago, all gone. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of them going out the door. I don't know whether that one is meant to be in there, so I'm just going to put it in there to be safe. Anyway, there you go. Going to get all these packed up so that it's out of the way for tomorrow. And then I'll see you on Monday morning. Good morning. Monday, 29th of January, bright and early. Orders already picked, although there was only two, so it wasn't actually that onerous. Uh, we are up to 46 orders for the week. Is that right? 
Yeah, 46 orders for the week, 38 on Bricklink, 8 on Brickell. So Brickell's kind of gone back down to its um, pre-Bricklink outage kind of sporadic levels, kind of that further that existed for it seems to have petered out, I think. The majority of orders, of the decent ones at least anyway, seem to be coming from rebrickable, for me at least. Um, new, dominating, obviously used is depleting, very much need to get some used into that, and I think that'll be a job for the first week of February, getting back to all of those uh, used parts that we part sorted and getting them into the store. Um, 600, uh, 600, 6,284 parts, nine minifigures, one instruction set. It was that, um, escape pod set, wasn't it? And in terms of colorways, dark blue, black, light blue, white. I was just thinking uh, this morning, actually, that probably very much reflects the stock in the store to be honest you know it does have a bit of a Star Wars bias simply because that's pretty much my um my interest area that modulars and kind of the the classic icons and ideas modulars and things like that but um yeah very excited with the new Star Wars sets which I might cover a little bit later um in the day uh, especially um the uh, the 25th anniversary sets and then um in terms of that little chart that um, Brick Freedom does in terms of your inventory, that massive spike where we put in that um, 70,000 parts, um, quite a jump up. And then the whole um, lots, has, uh, <laughs> the scale of it doesn't really work because over here it's at the 9,000s and now it's like over here, isn't it? Lots, 26, what are we at? 9,000. Oh no, it's still the same, isn't it? So it's jumped. Yeah, we were way. Oh, that was all minifigures and bits and pieces, wasn't it? Up there. Yeah, lots is a tricky one, isn't it? Anyway, that's pretty much where we're sitting this week. Um, obviously, it ticks over kind of mid afternoon for me, so a little way to go. Um, January's been pretty good, not the best month ever, but it's ticking along nicely. In terms of YouTube, we have climbed up to 638, so it's been a good week in terms of that. And the new blog is ticking along very nicely, 168, uh, and it's a little, bit, it's a lot earlier than I usually look at these things, um, by at least an hour or two, and it's you know we're usually tracking about the one, the 130 to 150 kind of mark, and we're ahead of that, so happy with that, and um, that is all good. As I said, there's been a couple more orders in overnight since kind of last you saw what I was doing on Tuesday. I am still up to date on my um, adding two parts, although I haven't done any ordering um, and I'm holding off doing that until I've got all of this parting out done, which um, I'll come back to today. But one of the orders was pretty interesting. Um, a whole load of two by one plates in pretty much every color I had and a load and 50, in fact, two by two white tiles clearly somebody making a colour chart, which did actually make me think, that is a bloody good idea. I don't know why I haven't done it, given that I've got all of these in stock. Um, so yeah, that's a cracking idea. So um, whoever is doing that, nice idea. And um, yeah, that's, that's a good idea. And then the other order that came in later on last night is um, 300 of these uh, four by four, four by four, dark blue, a load of Technic pins, um, some of these uh, rails with kind of the things, I think they're for train tracks, aren't they? And as such, uh, it's a pretty decent order and it goes over the value to get a tile. So that's that. Um, what I did figure out last night uh, when I went to pack up that order that had the base plates in, that the base plates do not fit in those boxes. So um, I think what I'll do when I go to the post office today, because this or this set doesn't have to go in the post till February the 1st, I will get one of those Australia Post bigger boxes. Um, I think they're big enough to hold that. I'll take a measure and then I'll figure that out when I go to the post office later today. Other than that, everything's packed and ready to go. So um, 
I'm way ahead of the game, which is good because I've got a lot of bits and pieces uh, for freelance jobs and the, the other kind of um, projects that I do that I need to crack through this morning. So that's next on my agenda. Going to get on with that. And I'll report back um, later this afternoon with any orders and as I kind of begin the part outs. So it's uh, just before 1pm on Monday. Only one little order has come in since then. These three um, 3x3 three three dark blue grey tiles. Um, so labels all done, everything. So everything's ready to go to the post office. Um, but I'm just going to hold off um, for an hour because I'm going to do the first bit of the parting out. And that is going to be these two um, pick-a-brick boxes. Um, they are, I think they're cheaper than the cups were, maybe. Um, I think they should be $32.99 for one of these boxes. And um, I had vouchers, which took it down to $50, was it? $50? $50.98, $7.50 and $7.50 vouchers. So it took it down to $50.98. So um, I'm gonna part them out and get a BSX file and we'll see uh, if I've made money or lost money on these ones. So that's taken me maybe 20, 25 minutes just to count all of those out. Um, it was a pretty focused um, couple of boxes to be fair. One stray 2x4 black plate in there, but essentially all parts that were already in the store and things that were um, either selling well or diminishing fast. So um, just your box standard parts really so nothing here that's going to shock anyone um don't sell a lot of those but don't have a lot of them in the store and for some reason the uh, the local lego store does often have uh dark blue parts on the wall um in unusual things so i try to pick those up i definitely had those on my wanted list so that's pretty good um to get some of those in and definitely had these um two by two sloped curves on the wanted list as well. So it worked out at a 2.7 something part out of value coming in at a value of 137.65. There are that rounding up, bit of Swiss rounding for you. Uh, just over a thousand parts um, in those two boxes, which is pretty good, I think. I don't know. I can't really remember what you were getting. I mean, they're all fairly chunky parts as well, but a decent little um, addition all in all so that's pretty good so i'm going to get those um just added to the store and then i'm going to go and do the uh, post office run and then i'm going to come back and i'm going to do the first of the um part outs and i might actually do this one first um simply because it comes with some minifigures and parts that i haven't got in the store um, a windshield and stuff like that i don't know what the four plus parts especially will be um, usually it's kind of like a bulky part, isn't it? Um, I'm not sure what it will be in terms of the four plus parts, but I'll let you know once I get cracked into it, eh? Um, yeah, I haven't actually seen this Young Jedi program at all, but um, and I'm not sure I sold any of the minifigures off the last lot either, but um, anyway, kind of staying true to the uh, Star Wars collectible kind of everything available in the store type thing so i've got that one to do and um i was going to try and do this other city space one today as well um looks like it's got a decent little trans windshield kind of display plate in there and obviously a good uh, windshield in that as well that little piece looks pretty cool not sure what i'll be doing um yeah he's a cool little character isn't he and these are obviously like their new space people aren't they not quite as classic as the other ones but those are always pretty decent aren't they um oh, chucking it around a bit yeah it's a pretty decent set actually kind of it's got some good you know these little things are always good aren't they Nice windshield. Obviously, that's a sticker sheet as well. Some interesting helmets. Got like a little. Um, is that going to focus? They've got like a little fin on them. Yeah, 
So, try and get those two done today, but you never know, other things might happen along the way. So, but post office next. So a quick and easy part out of that one, it's only uh, 268 parts in 80 lots, so rapid to get it through. Although, I have no idea, you know, they're all about kind of trying to save the planet with kind of pick a brick boxes and getting away with the plastic wrapping and stuff like that. And they've kind of gone down this route of these crappy instruction manuals, yet they print three of them for a 268 page set rather than just having one manual. I don't get it. Oh, anyway, uh, what are the best bits of the set? Um, pretty cool printed. Not a, there's no stickers, which um, threw me, but um, pretty cool printed um, canopy. That's nice. Um, a lot of red panels. They're pretty cool. Um, minifigure parts in there. Uh, what else is there that's in here? I didn't have any of these in stock at all. These are in s slopes, 33 2x2 two two double something or other. So I didn't have any of those. And in fact, I've got them in two places, so that's no good. Um, find someone else in two places. There you go. Uh, what else is there? There's an awful lot of um, storage. So there's barrels and crates and all sorts of stuff in there. There's a cooking pot, because everyone needs a cooking pot. Uh, what else is there? There's some blue fish. Um, there is these printed um, wing parts that are pretty cool. There is uh, some control panels, two of those. Pretty nice pieces. Uh, there are some uh, reddish brown chairs. People, you know, they're pretty popular pieces. That's good. And there are two large parts. There's this um, piece in light blue grey. And then there's this piece, which would make an awesome mini T6 shuttle, wouldn't it? Um, if I was that clever to be able to do mocks, that would make an awesome T6 shuttle kind of micro scale thing wouldn't it um so yeah there's that what it did just strike me though was on the box it looked like there was like a command center didn't it where's that it looked like there was like a little command center but um hang on let's find the box it's over here somewhere pretty sure there was like a little picture on the back wasn't it maybe that was the oh no that was the city <laughs> that was the city spaceship one Never mind, get myself confused. Anyway, um, in terms of part out value, it's not amazing. It's not fantastic. Uh, 268 items parting out at uh, 223. So it is a nudge under double your money, which um, is fair enough. There's probably, for me, there was probably maybe 10 lots there that I didn't have. 10 or more which is pretty good kind of it'll add 10 to the, the thing um, and some of these things are always good um, pretty high value on some of them these tan bricks pretty decent value on those um, what else had a good price on it medium nugget container had a pretty decent price on it uh, that double slope doesn't sell very often but it had a good price on it. One of those that you might have sitting around for a long time. It's got a good price on it, but again, I don't know how often that'll sell. That dark pearl gray treasure treasure chest. Again, another piece with a high value on it. Uh, blue arch slope, another one. The top of that treasure chest is pretty expensive as well. So yeah, some parts pretty good. Uh, minifigures fairly high for what they are um, in the 20s for the two main ones this one um, bit of a it's a bit of a BB-8 gone wrong in it um, RJ-83 I mean they just made him up haven't they it's quite a nice headpiece though 
I did consider whether or not just to part it out and sell it separately, but nobody else has done that, so maybe I should have done. But um, I'm going with a pack because I'm I'm scared of being different. Not really, but um, just kind of there are one one seller's got like twelve sets parted out, which is a huge investment, isn't it? I mean, even if you got them at a good discount, you know they're still fifty odd dollars each, right? That's that's six hundred dollars worth of parts of which you know they are not incredible parts for you know with the greatest will in the world they are not incredible parts um it's really about a variety for me um so there you go right i'm gonna get this one put away and then move on to the city set so it turns out that neither of the uh, city sets city space sets have actually been added to the inventory on bricklink yet so uh couldn't part those out so I've parted out a couple of uh, the Star Wars battle pack 75372 the uh, clone trooper battle droid battle pack obviously it's a bit of a, a minifigure uh, bonanza which um, gives it a fairly decent pile value um, with my pricing comes out at two and a half times which uh, is pretty decent um, not any particularly crazy pieces in it although um, these Technic pieces have got a decent price. Um, other than that, nothing, nothing stellar in there from a pricing point of view. Nothing that um, I've not seen these satin trans pink um, round bricks previously. They're a new one on me for sure. But other than that, pretty, pretty bog standard. Nothing that um, was crazy, crazy. Um, I didn't have any of them in stock. That was good. Um, I think I'm getting to the point where I'm going to have to split pearl dark grey and black blasters apart just from a quantity point of view. I didn't have any um, dark blue sloped curved 4x1s either, uh, which is good. Nor did I have any road sign triangles in light blue grey. So that was good and I'm completely out of those. So there's a fair few lots, didn't have any of those. There's a dark blue base to that piece as well. Where is that? which wasn't as high value as I thought it might be. Only 54 cents for that thing. Uh, but the plastic is new. It doesn't doesn't feel, you know, when you get that kind of, feels quite almost fake, but um, it's a lot more stronger feeling. Anyway, um, so a couple of those to go into the inventory. So that's pretty good. Um, and that'll be me for the day. Once I've put that away, um, good to go. It's the end of a pretty productive Monday and I just wanted to quickly talk about these um, 25th anniversary sets. There always seems to be an anniversary, doesn't there? I can't remember what the last anniversary was, but those sets were brilliant. Um, and I was not particularly um, like getting too excited about these ones, but that R2-D2 is pretty cool. And um, whilst I haven't really got a clue who Darth Malice, whoever he is, uh, is, and I'm not that fussed about him, the, the box art looks really cool and that R2-D2 is um, really good. Um, much better than the UCS one, it has to be said. And those new printed um, display plates are really, really cool. And kind of, I thought that one was cool, but that, that one, the tentative boarding one, um, which is just like that Dark Trooper one, is phenomenal. I'm really into that one. Darth Vader with the arm printing. Um, a lot of comment online from the usual suspects about mm, this five's character is not what it should be. God, they just bitch and moan about every single set there ever is. I think it looks amazing. And that set looks incredible. I think it's going to be very, very collectible. Really pleased with that. And I also just wanted to say that. Um, one of the um, subscribers to the channel, Kiwi Brick Exchange, has launched his channel now uh, with a very interesting video about buying sets over in China and what to expect if you are lucky enough to be able to go and do that. So um, go over there and give it a watch, give it a subscribe, give it a like. Uh, well worth checking out. Very well produced video indeed. Um, very well produced indeed. And I'm just repeating myself, but it just shows how well produced it is. Um, what does that leave us? Um, I was going to show you where we're at in terms of um, the store. Um, we're closing out the day on 
apart after those couple of uploads. Uh, 200 and 2,250 odd parts put in today, which is pretty good. Um, the benefits of a quiet day, which um, isn't ideal but um, from a sales point of view, but it is for an upload point of view. So that's me for the day. I shall catch you in the morning. Good afternoon, it's Tuesday and it's one of those days where there is nothing happening. <laughs> There's been no orders um, since yesterday and um, a couple of curious emails. This one requesting that um, I prove that the Coruscant gunship instructions that I have listed in the store are in fact mine by photographing them with a piece of paper with a serial number written on a piece of paper and email it to some guy's Gmail email address in Brazil. Um, now, for some reason, that feels like some kind of scam to me. Um, and why a store would list um, instructions that they don't have, I have no idea. And I'm using my finger because it's got his email address. Um, so uh, let's just do this whilst I get rid of that. Anyway, oh, we don't want to go to that screen either, do we? So yeah, nothing's happened in the store, um, and I'm about to um, continue with parting out, really. Um, I managed to um, pick up some of the um, CMF, the new ones, this morning, uh, whilst I was out and about. Picked up um, just a handful of these. I don't really go all in on these things, I'm not buying boxes of them. It's really just adding a bit of variety, but I did see quite a lot of new sets. I saw the Kingfisher set, I saw the new June Omnicopter set and um, it was yeah it was quite a lot of sets out and uh, about which was really good the Omnicopter was 250 Australian dollars in uh, Maya which is a big department store here in Australia for those that aren't watching from here uh, quite pricey um, but yeah it looked nice and the minifig it's got quite a big minifigure selection um, yeah, the Maya that I went to has a really big selection. They had heaps of the DeLoreans in boxes that were, that were they were just getting out. So I'm going. I've got six of these. So I'm just going to um, get them open, have a look, get them listed. Um, what else have I got to part out today? Um, I was halfway through working out the Jazz Club. Um, I've also got um, some of these. Got three of these to part out. Um, I'm going to part out all three of them but I'm going to part out some of the minifigures as well rather than just having I might have two sets as um and then part out one set as minifigure parts and then I've also got um this one to part out which the inventory is on line already and obviously I imagine these little polaroid things will probably go quite well cuz um they're a fairly rare piece. And then I think, I think these are stickers. I don't know whether these are stickers or printed tiles. Um, but yeah, they might, they might, I don't think the parts are gonna be incredible on those, but they were really quite cheap. And the part out value is two and a half times. And the part out value on that one is three times. So good value on all of those. So they'll go in the store today as today's little part outs. And I'm working away on the jazz club, which, um, is working out at uh, what is it? I've still got one thing to add price into nearly three, nearly three thousand parts and eight hundred and nineteen dollars so far. There's quite a good little minifigure uh, line up in that one. Again, I think I'll just leave them as minifigures because I don't know enough about them. None of them are really high value. Um, although that lady there, the jazz singer, she's got quite a price tag on her. For some reason um so yeah that'll take quite a while to part out there's a lot of parts there are 656 items in that one there's a lot of um bricks there are when you get down to bricks the dark red bricks there is a heap of them uh, where are we not those two by f is it one by fours there is an absolute shed load one by two dark red bricks, there's 70 of them. And there are 42 bright light yellow two by ones. There are quite a few 
one by sixes in an awful lot of colors and then in the one by fours dark red there are 103 dark red and 35 bright light yellow so there's a lot of brick bricks in this set which is probably good i would say from a buy-in point of view anyway that one's going to take me a while so i'm going to do these smaller sets first and we've still got that dragon set to do as well and obviously there's a few sets that haven't been listed yet on bricklink so that's where we're at kind of the end of the month that people are scratching down the backs of the sofas looking for the loose change for these last couple of days no doubt um so i don't anticipate things changing on that front until people have been paid and then people start buying again but um it's good stuff well you wait a whole day and a half and then two come along at once um first one decent kind of minifigure haul going off to the states over the value so do, do, do. you know i need one of those kind of slot machine um diddly 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 type noises don't i every time someone gets the uh, the bonus picking up clearing me out of endor um helmets i think that might be the old school endor minifig face as well i don't know and another um kind of gnarly minifig head probably goes with the whole set chewy a um, Naboo figure, a Rebel TIE uh, uh, Inferno squad, and a couple of female bike scouts. And then this one, uh, the buyer got in touch to see if I had any more of these lying around. Um, I don't. They only recently came in stock from overseas. I think they're only available in the Concord set, the new Ghost, and another set. I um, can't quite remember which one it is might be one of the kind of the creator animal sets or something like that anyway um it's going domestic so i've had to put the the bricks together to fit it in the um dimensions of the envelope um i've got some parts that um i'm about to make a bsx file um over there and then these are the six cmfs that i managed to get i've got a duplicate i've got this lady who uh, seems to have some kind of ice cream thing i think the little mushroom person is quite popular there's like a lizardy person there's a guy with a train who seems to be the least valuable and then there's a noir detective who's pretty cool so that's all right i mean it's a bit of variety which you know anyone that watches along knows i kind of dabble with bits like this just to get them into the store and then um you know if things go well you know what other things you might need to add so i'm just going to get the bsx file done i've missed the post for today already so these will go tomorrow but um good to see a couple of orders come in and um break the drought so i've just been parting out the little go-kart set there's quite a few decent parts in it to be fair um this is a new one on me a new type of bracket uh, it comes in white and this pink don't know what kind of pink that is off the top of my head but um new one on me um it's got a fair few of those kind of brackets with the curved bottoms i wonder if that's one of the parts that um is in that inventory merging um i better check that it has a lot of printed tiles in both bright light orange or yellow whatever that is and dark turquoise so it's got a whole bunch of those you don't get that many printed tiles in expensive star wars sets never do, never mind ten dollar sets um some there there's these printed um bonnets as well there's quite a lot yeah some gold roller skates in there some of them yeah there's a heap of wheels obviously there's three sets right don't know, state the obvious uh what else is there yeah some jumper plates just some tight yeah there's nothing incredible but kind of yeah, some some decent parts for um a cheap basic set you know three of those three of those in there a whole bunch of um of eight eights two by eights yeah so it's pretty good i think i've not done the bsx file yet but i imagine it's going to add a fair few lots to the store um that i don't have already and in terms of minifigures we've got one female 
and then just to um, just to balance out that we've got one slightly uh, apathetic gentleman um, just keeping the diversity to uh, friends clearly uh, so I'm going to do the base X file and then um, get that one put away oh last whinge because you know if you know how I like a rant crappy thin box two instruction manuals oh those are for a trophy are they oh, that's quite cool yeah thin box two instructions plastic bags saving the planet with that printing ink well done well it is um, the end of Thursday is it Thursday or is it Wednesday oh, it's only Wednesday <laughs> It's the end of Wednesday. I've got 45 minutes to get to the post office. I've had a busy morning um, with the freelance work. Um, so there are 12 orders in. You may have seen two of these already. So this one and um, this minifigure one, you may have seen those already. Um, quality little order. It's the threshold for the, um, the tile on that one. And then uh, there was nothing, nothing, nothing. And then they all started coming in this morning. So um, on one going to the States, I believe. The buyer is contacting me wanting to add another one of these um, trans dishes to the order, but um, hasn't yet um, added it. So I'm just going to hold that one. Um, this one's literally just come in. Um, some minifigure parts, um, interesting little bundle of printed tiles, a little bit of uh, Viking stuff in there, uh, some wedge slopes and stuff like that. Another little minifigure assortment, some... Um, Rebel Alliance pilots, selection of those, and a um, trooper, what is he, clone, 187th Legion. Um, another Brickal, some antennae, some trans plates, and a bunch of white. This one is another one off, no this one's not, this is a domestic one, it's going to be dodgy for that little um, windshield, but that's the way people go isn't it, is it? No, no, they put that in a parcel. That's right. Breathe easy. A whole lot of blue. So obviously a bit of a space thing going on with that one. Um, sticker sheet from one of those Harry Potter book sets. Whole bunch of tan. A little bit of dark tan. Here we've got um, just some white, some black. The buyer said he's building a Kung Fu zebra and has given me the link for his instructions. Um, so I might ask if he's happy for me to show that later on in a post and then uh, I think this one might be going to the states as well a um, whole lot of black plates and tiles and pat, stuff like that dark blue grey and then a little smattering of other bits and pieces a lot of tan wedge plates and then uh, another lot of um, Technic bricks going out the door with a lot of dark blue grey almost all but two clearing me out of my one by one um, trans clear plates a little bit of yellow a little bit of light blue grey so I've rushed through those um, I haven't really done an awful lot else today because I've been working away on other things I haven't done any parting out or anything like that the room's a tip um, you know how that stresses me out one of these orders this one gets a tile and perhaps another one no nope. Just that one so this one gets a tile so just need to get one of those out of the um the bucket uh, there was a comment on the uh, youtube channel about how all of this light coming in from this window is going to discolor all of those um tiles and um whilst i'm no expert all of these windows are tinted for uv and glare because of the weather here in wa so hopefully that means i'm okay because um, otherwise I'm stuffed because I don't have anywhere to, and I'm not living in a dark cupboard every day of the week that would do my absolute head in doing that so there you go uh, right postage got to get sorted um, that is going in that one and uh, we'll get that sorted good morning Thursday the 1st of February where did January go? That seems to have flown by. Um, four, four orders in since yesterday. And again, I can't remember if I've showed you one of them already or not. But anyway, um, this one was one that was a quote request on Brick Owl a little while ago. 
um, big order, um, clearly um, pirates, castles, something like that, um, one of those kind of um, boat hulls from the um, El Dorado set, some plants, a whole bunch of reddish brown, a lot of black, some dark blue and light blue grey and a whole kind of assortment of bits and pieces, a couple of cannons, some minifigure parts, a random assortment of weapons including a couple of Star Wars weapons which seem to not fit with the uh, the overall aesthetic but um, that one getting a tile, uh, I think it's just domestic that one isn't it? Yep, yeah, it's just Australia that one and then over here another decent one, Click going through an awful lot of the um, Slave One used parts and some other bits as well from the used stuff. Um, so that's a good old um, haul of used going out the door. And then some um, dark blue, light blue, whole bunch of um, dark tan, which I think there's actually a lot used in the Slave uh, model. Then there's a whole bunch of like odds and sods, minifigure parts, oars, weapons, yeah, strange little mixture of things there, and then kind of just random parts, bricks, tiles, candlesticks, stuff like that. And that one getting a tile as well, there's been quite a few this week doing that. Uh, this one is just domestic letter, kind of mix and match of different bits, some trans flames, some blue flags, just general kind of stuff. And then the final one is some minifigures, so um, the Kessel Run Worker, a Chewy, and a First Order something or other, the Joker's hairpiece, and then some of those um, big slopey tile type things, what are they called? Light blue grey slope, 10, 10 6 by 8 um, and that one is also domestic letter. So, four of those going out the door um, to add to the pile over there. This one that's been sitting around waiting can now go as well. And um, what's going to be today? Well, I think, fingers crossed, um, I'll get to do some parting out today. Um, I've gone through a whole bunch of um, instructions that I had in the storage unit overnight. So I'll show you that in a bit once I've got the, uh, the postage all sorted. So as I said, I um, had a box within a box within a box of older Lego instructions that hadn't been put in the store yet. And it's a bit of a mixed bag of, um, there's some old city stuff. There's like a really old school uh, vintage one. Oh, I went through a phase when I was gonna try and collect some vintage sets, which I did, and then I stopped. Um, some Lego movie ones, uh, city, a lot of friends uh, that my, daughter doesn't actually actually use the instructions after she's built it the first time she just then does her own thing with it so yeah there's a bit of lego movie that are my sons there's uh there was a stray lone ranger one i've actually got a full set of the lone ranger sets in the storage unit they're all used uh with their instructions and um i've got a whole bunch of these um I think actually some of these figures are actually listed in the store as well. Um, so there's a whole bag of them sitting in the lockup. And then I had a load of these um, catalogues, which I don't know if people buy them or not, but I think they go all the way back to like 2008 or something like that. Um, 2001. I've got one all the way back to 2001, which um, is frightening, isn't it? Because that's uh, 23 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear ah the things that we do and i found a sticker sheet hiding away in amongst it all as well which is i think from some city set i did have a phase when i loved all those city vehicles i used to go crazy for them eh? but there you go so it's um it's not a huge amount it's only 44 items 43 lots though which is pretty good and 61 dollars which is all right isn't it? which um, is interesting because i was doing the uh, stats yesterday and lot wise we're way down eh? kind of december's lots we were 9250 we start january with 9110 lots but bricklink fans is up 11 and youtube 
subscribers has gone from 560 to 643 this month so that's an 80 odd increase which is pretty good uh, Instagram followers has bumped up about the same as it usually does almost at 11 it went up what five eight before yeah it's it's a very gradual thing in um, Instagram and I don't do an awful lot on it although I have started posting um, daily order type stuff on there and the occasional kind of link to the YouTube clips but um, yeah interesting to see those lots and how they've kind of um, you know we went from 8,100 all the way up to 9,250 and now we've dipped down a little bit so um, yeah interesting so I'm going to get those uploaded to the store um, and then I'm going to go to the post office and get rid of all of the um, the mail it is a scorching 40 one degrees today so um, I'm going to do that uh, or I might actually do some face uh, Facebook <sighs> eBay sale photography before I go and then I might go and um, <laughs> I might go and sit in the pub and have a pint while I do eBay listings such is the glamorous life that I lead um, now the presentation's done um, so a couple of things to do so here's my little um, well, half of the eBay selection. Um, well, not half, more than half. Um, got a bunch of these lying around. I've parted some out. I've kept some. And I keep putting the occasional one up on eBay here and there. As everyone knows, I went um, deep on the Dark Troopers, thinking that they were going to be the, uh, the brave new world of five or first battle packs and I was going to make a killing and I was sadly sadly mistaken and then the other are all um, gifts with purchases so um, the birthday um, thing part of values around the $50 mark houses of the world I've got so many of these it's not funny uh, again part out values about 60 moving truck got a fair few of these I'll just dusty top tip if they get dusty just get a slightly damp cloth and give them a bit of a wipe brings them back good as new and uh, part of value is about 55 um christmas creator set that they were giving away again part of value about 55 and then the creator scary island thing which um i have parted out a couple of them already and i've still got two here and two in the in the storage unit so um i'm just gonna list a couple of those or one of those i've only got one here to list and then i've got another removal truck another christmas and another houses of the world and i was gonna list this um magistos magical workshop um thinking you know it's probably in the same kind of bracket that kind of um i haven't actually checked ebay yet but um the part out value for it is the current sales average anyway is um the last month's sales average is 93 current sales is 114 and the minifigures aren't all that either kind of i've had a, I've had a lot like there's very few sales on the uh, dragon knight like he sold for not much here in australia in fact he's only sold for 1250 twice in australia um the um other than that there's nothing in there that's particularly amazing the only parts that are worth of any value are this um dark blue castle turret which is a pretty cool piece and this rock panel which um somebody bought 20 of them for six dollars each um someone's got 101 of them i mean holy smokes right that's a fair few um so i, I don't know i mean i've got I think I've got another two of them kicking around. So I'm going to have a look on eBay and see what they're going for. Because uh, obviously eBay fees kind of eat into it. Um, it's a good couple of minifigures. There's a couple of axe heads. Uh, what else is in the set? Where's the parts? There's not. There's nothing in here that makes you go, oh yeah, definitely. I mean, there's a sticker sheet. Fair enough. But after that, there's nothing of any volume, there's nothing of any incredible nature. Uh, nothing that I'm seeing as I went through it that made me go, oh yeah. Like I thought that little blue plume might be worth something. Nah, not not great value. Um, 
the turret obviously I've got loads of those in stock so that's okay the rock piece is good um, a hair piece maybe that's worth a little bit I can't do it with one hand how to open it up I don't have right or left click buttons on old school the weapons aren't particularly valuable um, yeah so there's nothing in there that like makes you go definitely um, so interesting that it would be parting out at such a high value other than the two figures which um, given that there seems to be none available or there's two available but none have sold in Australia according to this interesting so there you go um, I'll have to have a little think about that what to do with it I'll have a check on eBay anyway but I'm taking the pictures so I can do that whilst I um, enjoy a nice cold beer in 41 degrees sweaty heat sat in the beer garden um, thinking about what I'm going to do this afternoon but I do know what I'm going to do this afternoon it's going to be getting on with the um, jazz club got to finally get that underway uh, I haven't loaded any pieces yesterday did I do any yesterday no, I didn't do any uploading of any parts yesterday, although I have just done that, um, those instructions. So I need to make a note of that. I like to keep a record of what I bought, 44, and it did, add, it did add 43 lots. So we've put 44 up, and I put 6 up yesterday, actually. 6 CMFs, including the girt hole, the goat, the girt, the goat hole, god, jeez, including the goat Herder, it's easy for me to say, and um, some crazy night fell. Again, probably a good minifigure to have. Right, post office, I'll catch you in a bit. Good morning, it is Friday morning, and I have finally finished parting out the and putting away the um, jazz club, only to find that I've been scuppered by the um, catalogue. Um, what do you call it? Simplification that Bricklink have done. So um, in the brick store file, they're obviously getting away with um, the tiles with grooves and stuff like that. That must be one of the inventory elements that no longer exists because 280, 281, 282, 283 is tiles with grooves at the bottom. 277, 278. Yeah, all of those, 286, 287, what are those? Tiles with grooves. So all of these brick store files, anyone that's got a brick store file that um, had a variant type that's now gone is going to have to be changed. And I'm not sure how you do that. Um, what is going to be the new variant? Is it? B with groove or without groove? Yeah, I don't know. This is where I should have paid more attention, isn't it? Uh, strangely enough, Brick Freedom sent out a message this morning that um, they were having an error with um, reconciling the stores and orders, and this must be why. Um, because it's uh, combined. So um, there are a number of these items that have flagged 299,300. Let's have a look what that is. 299 is tiles with grooves. Yeah, so if you change it to without, without a groove then, it doesn't recognize it as a colour. With groove, it does. Ah. These are the problems that you face sometimes. If I only had uploaded this and actually finished it last night, I could have avoided this uh, dramatic... Just check if it is that that's happening by just trying to do one thing. Yeah. Invalid item in the catalogue. Ah. 
So I'm going to have to figure that out. But there are six orders in, which I also need to get picking. So um, I might do the orders first and then worry about this after that. So I'll crack on. So I just quit the file and, you know, um, reopened it. And this is the um, message that I got that um, 33 outdated items or color references in this file have been updated according to the Bricklink catalog. So um, it was like the tiles. So if we scroll down to where the tiles are, especially the ones with the groove, let's see what they've done to them. Yeah, they've changed the um, reference number. Wow, that's a huge change, isn't it? Wow, that's going to have a huge impact on BSX files going forward, but um, interesting. Okay, so um, orders picked. Um, time is it now? Just before midday, um, first of the two biggish ones. Um, a lot more technical bricks and lift arms and stuff like that so a bit of black dark blue gray a little bit of blue pins and things like that pins have been quite popular this week a little bit of used a um, projectile there's a projectile launcher in amongst the dark blue gray there and um, familiar colors there on that one um, a whole load of lift arms for that one straightforward um, a couple of printed tiles and some dark red bricks and a curved slope cockpit front and then uh, this one the um, goat herder and the dark knight or whatever he's called not sure what the actual figures called of those collectible minifigs that only went in yesterday was it day before have gone and a couple of um, Star Wars torsos in that one and then oh, look at the mess and then the biggest order of the day, which is 451 parts in 75 lots. Bunch of white, bunch of black, a little smattering of light blue grey, some orange and red and a trans clear dish, and a little bundle of um, used in there as well. So that's, um, that's all six. Get them all packaged up and ready to go. And then... Um, I might actually go and see if I can find some more of these collectible minifigures, given that that's like a three times part out return. It might be like before everyone gets onto it, this weekend might be the, the last chance where you can actually make decent money before there's an awful lot of options on them. So I might go and have a little look for that um, once I've been to the post office. So it's Friday afternoon, as you know, kind of like to wind down early. But just a um, final little bit of an upload and I'm introducing you to the newest member of the Yellow Brick Road team. Um, DT, as he's known um, in the office, um, he's good with numbers. Um, he has the weight of operations on his shoulders and um, he's come all the way from um, Timu. So according to my daughter, all of my data forevermore will be stolen by foreign agencies and I should never have used the website to buy accounting scale cheap because I have allowed them to steal all of my information. <sighs> there you go. Anyway, it's quite good. It takes a, little, takes a little while to get used to actually how to get it to set up. The instructions are um, pidgin English, to say the least, but um, it's done a bit of accounting for me and it's pretty accurate. Um, so that is good. Anyway. Um, I've just been uploading a file. I, did, I had some minifigure parts that I bought ages ago from, well, not ages ago, recently, from the, you know, like the little minifigure station in the Lego store. And um, so there's $20 for three, 1999 for three minifigures with one accessory. And I got three pugs in Dark Tan, which don't exist on Bricklink catalog, it seems only medium nugget and um, tan but I can I can confirm they are in dark tan and there was some um, pirates hats some pirate knight outfits some hips with uh, dual molded legs and a couple of heads and two heads which um, again are actually on 
the inventory on brick link. So there's that one, they're both double sided ones. So those ones aren't on there yet, and neither is that torso, which I just presumed would be uh, like a castle, knights, whatever one. Um, but yeah, those ones aren't on there yet, so it's brought down my value of it quite significantly. But um, for the parts that I had, uh, $60, so it's three times part out, and everyone's happy with that, aren't they? Um, so I'm just going to um, add these plates and things that um, I bought to that um, and then I'll get that uploaded. Actually I'm not uploading it just yet because I forgot to show you this. Um, I went uh, into what shop was it? Big W which is like a Kmart Target type thing and they were, they're were selling the brand new ones for four dollars each. So the Lego store they are five ninety nine. The ones I bought the other day were five dollars at Target and these were selling them for four. So um, I grabbed a bunch of these and I'm just going to open them and I'll note the barcodes on any good ones as we go through. If that helps people, um, if they're trying to find particular ones when they're out hunting. So I'm just going to crack into that and I'll um, pull aside any good ones. Okay, so at the end of the day, just got to put away some of the CMF stuff. So figures, bits that I've got two of already, so I'm just going to part them out. Um, just to try to get those lots up. But as promised, um, for those of you, I'm going to post the pictures of this on my Instagram. Um, so it's Leg Yellow Brick Road Lego store or something like that. But there's the uh, Vampire Knight box barcode. There's the uh, Barbarian. Uh, pet groomer whether these numbers are actually any different I've not actually studied them they all look the same but the number above the QR code seems to be different but I don't know if you can work that out or out there's the goat herd Vampire Knight. Have we already done him? We have, haven't we? Okay. Sprinter. And then we're into the less interesting ones, I think. Harpy. Lots of interesting pieces, but the figure doesn't seem to be that popular. Um, Esports. Good headphones. Train, or oh, the train kid <laughs> on the left there. Triceratops, there's always one, isn't there? It's an odd one. Fitness instructor, the one that you keep getting that you don't want is that one. It's like, God almighty, how many of those? We've got about four of them. Rubbish. And the noir detective. So I think the only one I haven't got, oh, where's my little instruction sheet? The only one I haven't got, oh no, I've got them all. Hey, there you go, they're all in the store. Wicked, okay. Right, there you go. Hope that's helpful to somebody, maybe not. So we are finishing the store on, um, 335,349 items at 9,299 lots. Is that taking us over where we were before? Yes. No, no. 9,299. Yes, we have beaten 9,250 that we were in December. So that is our highest ever. Um, so that's good. Perfect. Uh, good part now this week. Uh, of 41 fans it's going well uh, yeah happy with that got one more well I've still got those space sets and that dragon set to part out uh, the blog has done well this week not quite as well as last week but uh, it's done alright the um, how to video went quite well as well 
and 368 so yeah it's been a fairly um full-on week it feels like but i don't know where the week's gone um there's a lot of tidying up to do there's a lot of bits to be put away as always you know absolute chaos oh that is the weekend's task to get that sorted and tidied away but yeah there we are end of another week uh, i keep finding bits of lego dotted around oh the chaos all right well i hope that's been a decent week for everybody put more interest in the last week perhaps and i will um, be back next week with more fun and games from the yellow bit road thanks for watching